Hey, how it's going? Today I want to teach you how to create a modern bottom navigation bar in Flutter in instead of the default and simple one which everyone uses. You can make your Flutter project special by using this new bottom navigation. It's going to be fun and amazing, so make sure to follow along till the end. Without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is to install a package called Water Drop Nav Bar. So let's go to the popspeak.yml file and here as you can see, I have already installed this package. And of course, if you want, you can just go and check the official documentation of this package to see how it's working. But in this tutorial, I will shortly show you that how can you use this package. So once you are done, hit popkit to get all the packages. And once you are done, you can just close this page off and come here. As you can see in the home page, we have a blank scaffold and we will create the navigation here. So inside the scaffold, we have a property called bottom navigation bar. And inside it, I can just create the water drop nav bar, which we install the package right now. So here we have three required parameters, the bar items, which is a list of bar item. Also the selected index, which is a type integer and also on item selected, which is a void function. So now let's change the stateless widget into a stateful widget because we need it. And then for now, I will give the bar items an empty list. I will also create a variable uh, for the current index, which is going to be the type integer. And I will give it initially equal to zero. Now I will just take it and put it inside the selected index. Also on item selected, uh, here we access the index and for now I will make it empty. So now we can just create the bar item inside the bar items property. And the first one is going to be a bar item. And as you can see here, we have two required parameters, the field icon and also the outline icon. So uh, the first one, the field icon is going to be icons.favorite rounded. And also the outline icon is going to be favorite border rounded. So it is done. And now I can create three more of these bar items. And now we have all the four bar items. So let's do a hot restart and let's uh, see that how it looks like. So here you can see the emulator and it looks nice. But if I want to change the navigate uh, to between the bars, I cannot navigate. So let's create this logic as well. I just need to take the current index here and then I will put uh, the index inside it and do a set state. Now let's run the code and see how it looks like. And now if I want, I can easily navigate between the bars and it's perfect. So now let's change the UA a little bit. I want to change the colors and the padding a little bit. So uh, first I will change the background color of this navigation bar and it's going to be equal to colors.gray with a shade of 300. The next I want to change the inactive icon color and I will give it a blue color and I think it looks nice. And the next I will change the water drop color and also I will give it a blue color. So also the padding from the bottom, uh, I will give it a padding of eight and icon size is going to be equal to 28. I think it looks nice. So let's just do a hard reload and let's see how it looks like. I think it looks perfect and that's nice. There is still a problem and when we are navigating between the bars, there is nothing show uh, in the screen and we cannot see anything in the body. So let's work on it. In the scaffold on the body property, I can just create a page view and this page view has a property called controller. So now I need to create a page controller in the state. So after the current index, I can just create another variable final page controller and it is equal to page controller. Now I just need to take this page controller and paste it here in the controller of the page view. It has also another uh, property children and here I need to create four pages and it's going to be just a center widget and the child is going to be an item. And if you wonder what is this item, I have already created this widget. And as you can see here, this is just a simple widget and it's created here. It is simply a container with a color of purple with a shade of 400 and also a text 
which we pass as a parameter. So now in the text, I just need to change it to hard page. It's gonna be our first page. Also, I need to create three more of these pages. Yeah, now we have all these four pages, the hard page, profile page, email page, and also the settings page. So now if I do a hard restart, we can see how it looks like. Yeah, and it looks like this and it's beautiful, but when you're navigating between the bars, it doesn't change the page. So let's work on it. I just need to go to the on item selected and before the city state, I just need to use the page controller and use the method called animate to page. And the first parameter is our current index of the bar that we are in. So we just write the current index. And after that, I need to provide the duration, which is gonna be uh, 400 milliseconds duration and milliseconds is equal to 400 and then i need to provide a curve which it shows the animation of while we are navigating between the page and it's going to be curve start is in out i think it's a cool animation now let's do a hard restart and when we check it out uh, yeah i can just simply navigate between the pages and it looks perfect nice